Hello everyone. Today I want to share a, a simulation case of a fan, just like the animation in this report. Uh, as we can see, this is a fan of with a hinge connector. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create this hinge to make the fan uh, rotate. So let me show you how to make the how to create this model. First, I need to in uh, I will create a new model. And so then I will import the model sorry I should import the part so here is the SP model <coughs> um, this is a solid geometry with the STP form and in this simulation, I will treat it as a discrete rigid. So I will change the type to the discrete rigid. But because the rigid is need to be surface, so I need to delete the solid. Here, I will use the shear from a solid and then take this part and middle a click. Then take the shears to be removed down. So then it is just consisted of a surface and no filler. it off. So as we can see it is empty in the model. So it has been changed to discrete rigid but we still need a reference point to to represent this rigid body. I will create one. Then we just go to the assembly and make it an instance. And this coordinate system uh, is not available for our connector. So I will so I will delete it and create my own. I will create my own rectangular coordinate because the connector axis need to be in the x axis. So I will change the x direction. It needs to be in the z direction. So it's zero zero one. Then here. This is the rotation axis. Then we need to create a step because we used the connector. It involved a large rotation. So I will turn the uh, geometry, nonlinear geometry on and make it a step time and increment then we need to create the connector first the connector 
property connects restriction. We need to create a hinge connector and click yes. Then we need to create a reset because it need to join to ground. So we just need to click this reference point and start. Then click OK. And assign the collector section to this port to this to this well set and in the best coordinate system we need to use my own coordinate system because it rotates in the x direction of the local this coordinate system Then I will give it a connect the velocity and we need to pick this real set and give it a radiation and I give it high divided by 10. So this is the rotation velocity or angular velocity. Then I will make a mesh. And create a job. And Submit it. Let's just uh, wait for a minute. Because the step time is ten seconds, so It needs a little time. Uh, and we can check the result. As we can see, the fan is rotating as the time increasing. So because this is a rigid body, so it just has the displacement and rotation um, data. This is the displacement. And we can create my own coordinates of the cylindrical. And to make the results displayed uh, respected to the cylindrical um, system. So So this is the results respected to the cylindrical coordinate system because the displacement in the tangent direction is larger and the other two direction is small.
So if we need more um, output about the connector, we need to create a history output of the reset and take the results we need just like CU A1 and CV A1. So this is the related translational or rotational velocities and this is the related displacement and rotations. So after I submit it again and I will get the velocity and the rotation displacement of the connector. Now the calculation completed and I check the results again. And this is the animation and I want to check the history output. So here is the CU1 which means the relative rotation. So in the 10 second, the fan rotates about 3.5 uh, radius. And here is the velocity. The velocity is just as we specified, it's about 0 0.3 5 radius per second. So in this tutorial I just show how to use the um, hinge connector to, to simulate the rotation of a fan. Um, if you are interested in ABQCAE simulations um, please subscribe my channel and I will share more tutorials about the simulation with ABQC AE. Thanks for watching.